What up, Fit Fam? Coach Rye from Team Flex. We're here again with another Rye Rant Radio. And uh, just so you know, this is a fucking explicit podcast. So if you're one of those little people with those little sensitive ears and you can't hear some fucking words and bullshit, get the hell out of here now. I'm warning you. But if you are part of the Rye Rant tribe, my, my people, my people that speak my fucking language and like this shit, I'll tell you what, this is exciting. I'm excited to be back here doing these with you guys. I've been getting a lot of great feedback. I appreciate it. And I promise you, it's only going to be great shit coming at you. This show, I brought it back again and it started in its roots as a way to, you know, be the voice of fucking truth for all of you out there. Be the guy that it will tell you the truth when the whole fucking world wants to lie to you, wants to see you be weak, wants to see you stay weak, wants to see you stay beaten down. Well, I'm going to tell you the hard shit that nobody will fucking tell you, but if you actually hear the shit that I say and you apply it to your life, it'll change every damn thing that you have going on, all right? So that's what we're doing. I appreciate you guys again. I just want you to know that. I appreciate every single one of you listening right now. Thank you so damn much. Now, topic of today is one uh, that, uh, you know, I think about often because, you know, it applies to pretty much every single person. um, And it really has applied to me also in my time, right? It has applied to my journey through any goal I've ever achieved. And it's this kind of idea that, you know, Every single goal that you embark on, it's not supposed to be fucking easy, all right? And, you know, we talk about a lot of fitness and shit on this, but I'm talking about any goal in your life, right? If you set a goal, uh, it's usually for something that is very worth attaining that is also not something you currently have, all right? So, you know, think uh, you're you're fat, you're fucking fat, you want to lose 100 pounds, okay? Well, you don't have that 100-pound lost body right now. That's a goal for you. Maybe you are on the opposite side of the spectrum you feel like you're way too skinny you have no fucking muscle you want to build 50 pounds of muscle somehow right or maybe you want to start your own business you want to get a a raise at work you want to go get a new house you want to buy a new car whatever fucking goal that you set that means something to you fitness or life It is not going to be easy. And I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. I'm sick and tired. I can fucking throw up at the idea of how simple people try to make it. And, you know, this idea that you should just, any time that you want to go about a goal, just say that you're going to do it. Go and wish your best wishes. Do your fucking affirmations. And all of a sudden, one day, you'll wake up and you'll have all this shit. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This shit is fake. It doesn't happen. Nothing worth attaining in life will come to you free. It will not be easy. And it will not be fucking fun, alright, like all the shit that you gotta do to get where you wanna be in life it's gonna be hard motherfucking work and I guarantee you it's hard work all the time until you get there. And then a lot of times, you know what's fucking funny? When you actually attain something, it's still hard work. You know, the person that's got to lose weight and they get there, the person that's got to build muscle and they get there, the person that builds a business and they get there, they want this and that, you get there, it takes basically the same fucking amount of work to even maintain that, right? Like you have to continue to work hard to keep your fucking six pack abs and to keep your goddamn biceps big and whatever the fuck else you're trying to do. All right. So it's not this idea that you get to go and you get to work hard for a little bit. And then all of a sudden you you have to, you get there and you stop. No, it doesn't work that way. Right. If you're going to go about any goal, it's going to be very hard. It's going to be very difficult to get there. And I've said this on former episodes before, and I'm going to say it again today. You guys, he even coach Rod, Okay, even me, uh, you know, the amount of days that I wake up and I say, you know what? I'm really fucking excited about every damn thing I'm going to do today. I'm really motivated to go fucking work out, to do this and that, to stay on this diet, to do fucking whatever it is I got to do that day. Those days, they're so fucking rare for me. I used to say they were a couple times a year. I don't even think I'd say that now because the more advanced you get with your goals and the further you go and the more you attain something and set a new goal, you know, you get to this point where you realize, okay, Okay, you're just in the fucking zone of constant attempt of achievement. You're not really in the zone of like, okay, you know what? Yeah, every day I'm motivated. No, you don't get a choice to be fucking motivated if you actually want to achieve shit. If you want to actually do things, you want to attain goals and you want to fucking win, then you're going to have to do the work despite anything else. And you don't need fucking motivation. You don't need to be fucking excited. You don't need any of that, okay? And really what I want to bring home with this message is the idea of two voices that are going to come up with you with any goal, okay? Okay. 
any fucking goal you have, we're going to have two types of voices that are constantly playing in your head. One, I'm going to call your strong voice, okay? This is the one everybody loves, the one that we always got. It's always there in some way. And this is the one that fucking somehow motivates you every now and then. And it comes up, right? It's the voice that tells you, yeah, you're on track. You know, you got to, you're going to do this shit. You're going to lose that fucking weight. You're going to build this muscle. You're going to, you're going to execute on this. And in X amount of days, we're going to get to this result. You know, you're going to be able to change your life. You're going to be able to get a new job. You're going to be able to do whatever the fuck your goal is. It's that voice of strength. The one that keeps you going, the one that keeps you on the fucking path. And then we got our other voice. Okay. That little, our little bitch voice that sits in the other side of your head. That little inner bitch voice, the voice of fucking weakness. The one that says, no, you've done enough. And the one that says, you know, yeah, fucking cheat on your diet. Yeah. Take a little bit of a break. Yeah. No problem. Did do this today. You earned it. Don't do it. Don't go to the gym. You're, you're fucking tired. You don't need to, you know what? You've been dieting so hard. You earned a cheap meal, all this shit, right? And we always got these two voices and they're always playing. Anytime you got a goal, you're going to have these two fucking voices. And I'll tell you what, the honest truth, the fucking inner bitch voice is always going to be trying to creep over that strong voice, that voice of strength, the one that keeps you on your path. Any chance that you let that inner bitch voice take over, it fucking will. It'll jump on you like a lion to a gazelle in the fucking Serengeti, you guys. Seriously, you got to be so weary of this. You got to always be in this constant mind of what voice you're listening to, what's trying to play and what's going on. Because let me be straight up. These days will come up for everybody. They come up for me. There's, there's temptations. There's ideas. There's things that will pull you off the path. There's all these times that inner bitch voice somehow got a leg up on you. It all of a sudden is right there in your ear and it's pulling you the other way and it's saying, hey, you know what? You, you know what? You are fucking tired today. You had a bad day. It's, it's a good day to have a fucking pizza. It's a good day to call it quits. It's a good day to skip the gym. It's a good day to, you know what? Just take a break and you'll start tomorrow. We'll start over tomorrow. We'll do it again. Don't be worried about it. Just one day. It won't hurt you. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys, every time you give in to the inner little bitch voice, every time you give in to this voice of weakness, it grows a little bit stronger. It grows a little bit stronger. And at the same time, that voice of strength, the one that says, keep going, the one that keeps you on your fucking path and gets you to the win. That one gets a little bit weaker. And if you keep feeding that voice of weakness, that little inner bitch voice, what happens is you become it. You become that fucking persona. The person that says they want to do everything, but actually never does it, doesn't fucking show up for themselves, isn't accountable to fucking anything they say or do, and they don't get there. And it's guaranteed 100% of the time, you guys, you're going down one of two paths. You're either on that strength path where you're going forward, you're staying strong, you're staying to the shit that you got to do, you're closing that gap, or you're going entirely the other way, okay? And like I said, this is something that happens to everybody, and you really got to understand this. There's there's this trick to really fix all this, right? There's this trick to go out of the thing, because you know, when you get that inner, inner bitch voice talking too loud, and it's taking over, and maybe you are tired, maybe you are fucking beat down, maybe you did have a bad night of sleep, maybe you did have a bad day at work, maybe you did have all these things that could, in your mind, in that current moment, justify going off your plan, fucking off your diet, skipping the gym, doing, you know, getting away from whatever it is you need to be doing to achieve your goal. Maybe you can justify it in your head that day. And that's just fine. This will happen to everybody. It'll happen to all you. It happens to me. We start to get too involved with that little inner bitch voice. And it says, Hey, you know what? It's okay. And you start to believe it because basically you're becoming weaker. You're giving in. You're going to that point where, you know what? Every time you do this, you don't get to come back from it the same. You get to get weak. You're leveling down. You're not leveling up, but there's a trick. Here's the trick. If this starts happening to you, what I want you to do is exactly this. Okay. Any of these days come up and they'll be copious. Most days will be like this. Most days you will be tested. Most days will be a trial. Because it is something hard to do. Whatever it is you're trying to achieve, it's not easy. It's not a handout. It's not fucking given. It will be hard and you will have to stay on the path and you will be tested by the inner bitch voice. And here's what you got to do. Even if you want to give in, what you say in the moment is you go into what I call the next day method. Okay? The next day method says not to fucking day. All right? This next day method means that you don't give in to that voice today. You give it the opportunity to speak tomorrow. All right. And understand what I just said. I want you to really picture this. Okay. You're going about your day. You want to lose 50 pounds. You want to get in shape. You're on contest prep, whatever it is you're trying to do. You want to build your business, but you don't feel like showing up. Whatever it is you're trying to do, 
Those days will come up where you say, you know what, fuck it. I don't want to do it. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Today, I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip the gym. I'm tired. I'm, my back's hurting a bit. You know. Uh, today, I've been dieting so hard. If I'm fucking starving, I wanna. I wanna eat a pizza. And you know what? Balance, right? It's okay to do. Uh, you know, all these things come up. All these excuses. You start getting there, but you go like this instead. You can't fight them away because you're not always in the right mindset. So you say, all right. Next day method. Hello, next day fucking method. What this means is not today. You won't do it today. You won't have that cheat meal today. You won't skip the gym today. You won't miss out on whatever it was you had to do today. You will do the shit that you said you would do for that goal to fucking day, no matter what, or die trying. That's your that's your choice. That's where you're at. That's what your fucking choice becomes. And you say, all right, but you know what? Tomorrow, if I still feel this way tomorrow, I will make a different choice. Maybe, maybe I will take a fucking day off. Maybe I will have a fucking cheat meal. Maybe I will skip out on all the shit. But here's what happens, right? If you actually do this, if you actually say, not today, I'm on the next day fucking method. I'm not gonna do this shit today. I'm not getting off my fucking plan today. Maybe tomorrow though, if I still feel like that, all right, I'll, th- I'll consider it. I'll think about it. What happens is you go to fucking bed, you wake up in the next day, and this mindset's gone. That little inner bitch voice didn't get fed, so now it's it's receded. It's gone back in its shitty little fucking hole, and it won't come back out. And maybe if it does, you can beat it back down, because you already know that you didn't have to give in to it. You already know that you didn't fucking fuck up yesterday, so you're not going to fuck up today. You don't have to. You don't have to give in to that voice, because it has no fucking power. Because when it does, when it tries to creep up, when it thinks it's going to take over, when it thinks it's got you by its by your fucking throat, wrote you go no way next day method motherfucker get the fuck back in the back seat we're driving the car i'm the fucking driver and you're sitting in the back and the next day comes and you don't want that shit next day comes you say you know what fuck that i'm on track with my diet i'm getting there you know next day comes uh, no fuck that i'm on track with my gym i'm getting there next day comes no i'm on track to fucking get this raise i'm on track to buy this house i'm on track to get whatever the fuck matters to you in life why would i listen to the inner bitch And when you can do this, you guys, every time you do this, you become stronger. It's just like reps in the fucking gym or meals that you eat to get you where you want to be. It's just another fucking rep. It's another rep to build strength, mental fucking strength, mental fortitude to be in charge of your shit, to be on top of your shit, to take control of your shit and beat down that inner bitch that will hold you back. And it guarantees that you're feeding the strength. You're feeding the strong part of you, the part of you that wins, the part of you that achieves, the part that will fucking take you to endless possibilities in life every single time you do this this is what you do you get to get a little bit closer you get a little bit stronger and you know what happens either way either fucking way even maybe you do go the next day right maybe you do go the next day and that cheat meal stuff sounds good and all the shit and you do fall off you do fuck up you still do it whatever it happened but you know what i'll guarantee you if you apply the next day method it becomes virtually impossible to have all these fuck ups happen in the first place and a lot of times you won't fuck up a lot of times it won't even come up the next day comes and you got to do the next day method again motherfucker right you gotta sit there and you gotta say shit well well now it's the next day but i I can't cheat on my diet today i can't fucking miss the gym today maybe tomorrow then all right fucking maybe tomorrow and eventually you guys you get the fucking point you'll get to this point of strength where you don't even want this shit you don't want to go off your fucking path you want to be on your plan you want to be doing shit because you get one fucking life and the shit that you do or do not achieve in your life and your goals and your fucking dreams depends on your choice and what you're doing now and what you will be doing then and what you'll be doing the rest of your fucking life. If you sit in that rocking chair when you're goddamn 80 something years old and you're sitting there rocking back and forth and you look back on your life and you think about the shit that you accomplished and the shit you didn't, are you going to be happy? Are you going to be excited knowing that the fucking pizza won on whatever day and you never hit your weight loss goal because it sent you down a spiral? You don't know. You never know. And the choices that we can make, we do know that there's guaranteed patterns for success. If you do the shit you have have to do and you do it long enough success is inevitable hear what i said if you do the shit you gotta do and you do it long enough success is fucking guaranteed you guys you will get there no matter what at some point as long as you continue to execute and you don't fucking stop every time you go off the plan it is off the plan. There is no question about that. It detracts. It pulls back. It p- takes you the other way. And who even knows the exact potential of where that takes us, right? How much does it actually cost in pursuit of a goal to go off the plan even one time? Most of the world will tell you it doesn't matter. Most of the world will say do it. Most of the world will say it's balanced. Most of the world will say no, it's okay. Most of the world will say no, Coach Ray, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This is crazy. You sound like you're fucking nuts. 
And most of the world also, you guys, will never achieve your fucking goal. So remember this. Remember what I'm telling you. The next day method, every fucking day of your life, when you want to be a little bitch, when you hear that little bitch voice creeping up, when you want to give up, when you want to give in, when you want to be weak, you sit there and you say, no, fuck that shit. Next day, tomorrow, maybe I'll think about it. I'll think about this shit again. Today, I'm fucking executing. I'm doing what I need to do. And then I'll see how I feel the next day, okay? And if you do this every fucking day, you guys, I guarantee you, you're going to run fucking laps, lifestyle laps, lifetime laps around people that achieved nothing, stayed miserable, stayed weak, stayed in this fucking zone. The people that cheat on all their goals are the ones that cheat on their life because they never fucking achieve anything they set forth to do. If you want to be successful, you you want to fucking win. You want to be a damn legend in your own mind. This is how you do it. The next day method. Don't give in to the inner bitch and keep beating that motherfucker back. We're going to keep beating that bitch down until she don't come up no more. And then you stay strong and you stay focused and you keep that mindset and you do shit that people think is superhuman because you fucking are. And that's it, you guys. That's all I got. Please apply this. Please try this. I'm telling you. I do these shows. I do these episodes to help you all. And that's my goal. I want you to take this shit. I want to see you win. I don't even know who you are out there listening. There's a lot of you. I appreciate all you listeners. Thank you so much. Thank you so fucking much for listening and supporting this shit. You do the greatest thank you to me when you do this. So execute on it and get there. And, you know, share your fucking wins with me, you guys. Reach out. Let me know what happened. You, let me know, you know, a moment that you, you could have fed that little inner bitch voice and you didn't do it because of this shit do it and i guarantee you the greatest success for your life and a much better life overall thank you guys for listening rye rant radio is coming back more to come coach rye is out